Panther S1, NATO reporting name SA-22 Greyhound, or Carapace is a short-range, mobile, fully autonomous air defense system combining two 2A38M 30mm anti-aircraft guns and 657E6E ready-to-fire missiles in steered launch containers. It provides air defense to small-size administrative, industrial and military installations against air-to-surface missiles and strike aircraft flying at medium altitudes. Despite by default this system is being offered mounted on weight by a truck, Panzer S1 can be mounted on track chassis. The fire control system comprises both a jam-resistant radar and electro-optical sight system and can fire both weapons, gun, missile, on the move. It was designed to replace the SA-19 Grison air defenses. Development on the Panzer began in 1989 at KBP Instrument Design Bureau. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, requirements for the system changed. Instead of providing defense for airfields, missile silos, command centers, and communication arrays, the system was redefined as a tactical air defense system that could provide air defense for Russian ground forces and longer range air defense systems such as the S-300, S-400, and S-500. Development of the system was completed and it entered production in 2003. Typically, Panzer S1 battery includes up to six combat vehicles equipped with 8 to 1256 E6E missiles and 1430 mm rounds. In addition, the battery includes a command post vehicle, transporter, loader, spare transport and repair vehicles. These vehicles are equipped with satellite-based navigation system, air conditioning, electric power supply, voice and data communications, meteorological and combat recording equipment. Each weapon system vehicle has a crew of three man and a reaction time over four to six seconds. Both missiles, 57E6 or 9M335, types use two-stage designs that are 3.2 meters long. Additionally, they both use 20 kg high explosive fragmentation warheads with impact, proximity fuses, and can hit targets in a 1.2 to 20 km range. The primary difference between the two missiles lays two A38M automatic anti-air cannons it carries and can engage up to four targets simultaneously in the type of fragmentation device used in the warhead. The 9M335 uses a rod fragmentation device while the 57E6 uses a standard blast fragmentation charge. The sensor package includes a target detection and designation radar, target and missile tracking radar and electro-optical systems. The first radar can detect targets of 2 square meters radar cross-section RCS at ranges between 32 to 36 kilometers while tracking simultaneously up to 20 targets. The tracking radar is able to follow the same kind of target at ranges 24 to 28 kilometers but tracking only one target and guiding up to 257 E6E missiles. The electro-optical system has a maximum range of operation 17 to 26 kilometers tracking a single target and a single missile. Panzer S1 can shot down airborne threats flying up to Mach 3, 1000 meters per second, at ranges between 1.2 to 20 kilometers and altitudes varying from 5 to 10,000 meters. The two automatic anti-aircraft guns deliver a maximum rate of fire between 4,500 and 5,000 rounds per minute. The gun system is able to take out targets at ranges between 200 to 4,000 meters at altitudes between zero, on the ground, and 3,000 meters. Since 2013, Russia has deployed panzers to Syria in support of its soldiers and Syrian governmental forces during the civil war. The panzer has also played a role in the Russian-Ukrainian conflict. Notably, Pieces from a Panzer 57E6 missile were found in Ukraine in November 2014, and in December, it was confirmed that Russia had deployed the air defense system to the Russia-Ukraine border region. In February 2015, reports an IDEO footage of Panzers being used by pro-Russian forces in Ukraine's Donetsk region surfaced. The system was also deployed in the Luhansk region in eastern Ukraine, 